YouTube. So today I wanted to talk about all the things that I mess up on a regular basis. Because let's be real, I'm a new witch. I have been doing witchcraft now for three months, four months. I've claimed the word and been really intimate with the craft, going to my altar, researching, reviewing, doing spells of that nature. And when you're new, no matter what, you're gonna mess up. So here are all the times that I just, ugh. It didn't, it didn't go as planned. Uh, first things first is fire safety. So, um, so everyone is aware, be good with fire. Um, I lit my altar cloth on fire by accident. Yeah, that was a thing that happened. I was trying to light, use an incense stick to light the candles on my altar so I wouldn't have to keep you reusing the lighter and I heard other witches do this and I was like, I can try it, I can do it, I'm good at fire safety. One of the embers broke off and I didn't think anything about it. Thankfully I also had a little bit of moon water on my altar that I was just like, you know what, moon water, water, whatever, it's water, it needs to be used. And I noticed that I had smelled smoke and I had realized that it started to um, sear and burn away which sucks because it was a little bit of an antique, but it's only a really small bit, but now I'm way more cautious about my fire safety type of deal, especially because I have a huge, beautiful cloth on my altar and I don't want to damage it any further. Um, let's see. Second thing, spells. I did a spell over the eclipse. It was really last minute. Wasn't really knowing what I was doing. It was a love spell to bring the love of my life into my life. And some interesting things happened there where I don't think it didn't work all the way, but I definitely haven't met the love of my life. Instead, all the guys that I was seeing, all the guys sound like I'm dating like 10 men, there was a guy I was seeing and he suddenly, he said that during the eclipse he had a huge amount of anxiety fill him and he didn't know why. And I broke up with him a little while later because I realized, yeah, no, you're not him. And then every guy since then that has come into my life that I thought, well, maybe I can give concessions on this, 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 or this type of deal and really quickly they would just turn into complete like it was like one like 180 flip they would turn into assholes which i feel like is like my spell going not them not them like it's not bringing the person into my life it's removing all the bad people out of my life so there's one way to do it i guess so it didn't entirely fail but it kind of did at the same time see uh fourth thing is crystals i broke one <laughs> i had one of those beautiful quartz um, crystal clusters that I really really loved and I didn't even think about it as I was just kind of like trying to carry too many of them from an altar to my coffee table to make a little crystal grid type of deal and I totally dropped it just and crystal quarters clusters split into like three pieces I had little shards all on my carpet that I had to vacuum up because God only knows my cats would probably try to eat them so that happened yeah <laughs> broken crystals Feeling very, very sad about that. It was like, oh my god, I couldn't be less of a witch. Uh, number four failure was the first time I ever cast a circle. Hi, boo boos. Number five failures, trying to find a film video with cats. <laughs> uh, number four failure was I was trying to cast a circle. And, oh my goodness, I probably left that circle 16 times. And by the time I sat down to eventually do the spell, because I realized how many things I forgot. Even though I read books, I had read things that said, like, make sure everything's in your circle before you cast it. No. Mm -mm, no. I sat down. I was just like, there's not a circle here anymore, is there? Like, there's too many damn holes. I'm going to have to, like, restart and do this all over again. So I just gave up for that day. And I was like, you know what? We're going to cast it tomorrow because apparently I don't have my shit together. 16 times, 16 times I left the circle. I was counting. So I thought, well, if I only leave, like, three, that's three holes, right? No, you should leave zero. No holes. No holes in the circle. Yes. And the fourth fit, I mean fifth fail, is my garden. Because it is sad. This is what happens, y'all, when you leave for a while and you forget to water. I don't think I could ever claim four plants. I might be able to bring them back to life. God only knows. But I have a feeling that these poor plants have had their last bit. Thought I was a green witch. Don't think I am. Definitely not of a herby variety. Yes, miss. What is it? What is your issue? Yeah. Sassy familiars, what can you do? <laughs> anyway guys, part of Utober. Um, I know I've been behind on videos. Um, I missed, I think, one or two at some sort of span in there. Um, because YouTube decided to, something happened where they got corrupted, so I'm gonna have to refilm and do whatever, so. You'll probably get two videos for our next couple of days, and then we'll go back to a video per day for YouTuber. I cannot believe we're almost done with it, though. It's like one week left, and that's it. Wait, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.